Okay. I couldn't get to work earlier. All right. I kind of wrote mine down on a loose leaf sheet of paper. I wrote some notes. But um, the last lecture video, I kind of couldn't pick out. I, I kind of couldn't pick out on your worksheet which was which. Like the which three words were the advice, which five words were the what to live by, and which life lessons. It all kind of ran together. So I kind of just picked out. I just picked out something different for every little thing I wrote down. So my eight life lessons I learned from the film or the hour and 16 minute video was number one, respect authority. Two, reach your dreams. As in, go after your dreams. Number three, help others reach their dreams. Number four, have fun. Important as water. Is, that's the example he used. Number five, decide if you're a tigger or Eeyore. So decide which one you want to be. Do you want to be wired like Tigger or sad like Eeyore? Number six, never lose your childhood wonder. Never lose your imagination and I guess your dreams. What do you what we could say there? Number seven, never give up. That's pretty self explanatory. Number eight, which is probably the most important one, so I put it last. Um, focus on others and not yourself. And that's one of my on the eight life lessons that's been that's the my favorite one i guess is what i could say on that one i think if everybody in the world could do number eight focus on other people not just themselves then this world would be a whole lot better place and the news would be a better better to watch all right moving on the three words of advice that i picked out was number one be good at something Everybody in the world can be good at something. So mine was be good at something. And I guess to add to that would be be good at it and work at it <clears throat> and give it everything you have to be good at it. So I guess motivate yourself to be good at something because everybody has something they like, like a hobby or if it's a sport, if it's golf, if it's theater or anything, you can, somebody can be good at something. Everybody can be good at something. Number two, work hard. I guess that kind of goes with my number one. So work hard at what you do, what you're good at. Number three, find the best in everyone. So I put that last two because you kind of see my vibe from my eighth life, my like life lesson number eight. Focus on others, not yourself. And my words of advice, number three, find the best in every single person you see and come in contact with every day. All right, five words, five words to live by. I kind of was going with it. I didn't think you really had five one word examples. I was hoping it's going to be like a statement or something because I couldn't find, I never really got where he would, he went over five words just in general for this. So I just picked another five statements to use to live by. Number one, don't complain and work harder. He used Jackie Robertson as an example. Never complain about anything, no matter what, you're always blessed. You can use him as an example. The dude had cancer, and when he was making the lecture, was dying of cancer. Uh, number two, show gratitude. That's pretty self-explanatory. Number three, get feedback and listen to it. Don't be afraid to learn. Don't be afraid to listen to people and let them tell you, even if it's something you're doing wrong, let them tell you so you can fix it and be thankful that they care enough to tell you. Uh, number four, tell the truth. That's... I think as a citizen of the United States, everybody can say that that's something good to live by. Uh, number five, be earnest. Always be earnest. So that's the five words to live by. All right, moving on to the last section uh, about having a tough hand being dealt and how I played with the hand and what I did with it and thinking back how I look at the way I handled the tough hand I was dealt with. Um, I had several to choose from, but the most important in my life so far, and it's really not nothing that huge, is um, uh, last year from about May to November, uh, I didn't have a job. I was at home. Luckily, I still live with my parents, but at the same time, I was uh, I worked coming out of high school when I was a senior in high school. I started 
started working and I worked ever since. So last year, I was three years out of high school and I didn't have a job. So I started, it, it was rough being at home all day and not really having anything to do or nothing to look forward to or no motivation at all. So that was the hand I was dealt with. Uh, part B, um, how I dealt with it. Um, I put, I wrote down, I took it day by day and pretty much I just took it. I just, um, found things I could do at church or anywhere I could go to and I would, um, apply myself and be there and work as hard as I could and just, I pretty much just stayed busy, I guess is what you, we could say there. So I stayed, I stayed busy and I was patient because I didn't want to just get something I didn't like. You know, I've, I'm blessed. I've got, I still live with my parents, so I'm blessed. I really didn't, I mean, I was, I was just supporting myself, so I, I didn't have anybody relying on me. I didn't want to jump into anything. So, I guess long story short, uh, November uh, this past year, I got um, my job I'm at now at a Cadence Bank. So, they hired me as a personal banker, and now I'm a um, financial service representative there. So, um, I look back, and I'm grateful for that time that I didn't have a job because I feel like if when I was working before I feel like I didn't really take it serious I didn't really work hard I was always doing going through the motions doing as little as I could get away with it and then not having a job six months and when I finally got a job again I, it motivated me to be great and be great at what I'm doing and train the best I could train and meet it many in, in the business world had a banking so you want to meet as many people as you can so I met as many people as I could, and I go every day, and I work hard. So, that was part C. So, I guess, um, to finish this off, you wanted us to um, explain what we got from the video, what we were taking away from it, um, and how we're going to apply it to our, our life. Um, I would probably have to go back to uh, my life lessons and three words of advice on... Um, finding the best in everyone and putting uh, other people before yourself. I think that should be everybody's go-to in life. That should be people's heartbeat is if you care about the next person, then this world will just be a better place. So I think when, when I mean, he was, he was obviously losing his health and he was lo losing his life and ultimately he did lose his life, but um, he was um, adamant in expressing the fact that you needed to focus on others. You didn't need to focus on yourself. You didn't need to focus on your own trials, your own circumstances. You needed to focus on other people and care about them and love on them and um, treat them the way you'd want to, you want them to treat you. So, um, yeah, so I guess that's how I'm going to um, end this. Just I pretty much got it from I got focus on others and not just myself. So, thank you.